In my research about the trolley's history, I discovered this curious current collector system, and I was so interested to the point of building a replica, trying to know how the operation of those earlier trolley buses could be. The first replica was made in January 1985, and by this time I already had built the mini trolley bus, and it was possible to proceed with the first experiments. The electrical contact was made through carbon inserts above the pulleys. In November 1994, the trolley car was used to demonstrate the CDS stall curing collector system. The wiring was installed and a photo exhibition reported on the evolution of the trolley buses. By this time, the collector was very improved. The contact with the wires was made through carbon inserts fixed between the pulleys in each side. Other improvements was the rotating apparatus in the lower part to prevent the cable be twisted when the trolley car negotiates the turns. By February 1996, 80 meters of wiring was erected in the building I was working in Eletropolo, the energy concessionaire. But how all this business started? My interest in trolleybuses started in 1967, when I was 10 years old when a trolleybus route was opened in Tucuruvi, the neighborhood I lived in Sao Paulo City, Brazil. I was present at the opening ceremony. My extreme curiosity led me to study and draw conclusions. The first experiment had started in 1970, in my 13 years old, when I built a wooden pole. I myself was the trolleybus connected to my mother's clothesline in my backyard. A wooden sliding tube made the contact with the wire. In sequence, wooden switches operated by a simple mechanism and wooden crossing were projected and constructed. With these pieces, it was possible to set up a complex network at my backyard. I was not satisfied and started thinking about to construct my own trolleybus. The vehicle could have a wooden body, bicycles, wheels, and a directional motorized frontal axle. Some years later, in my research about the trolleybus history, I was very surprised seeing the resemblance of my drawings with the figures of earlier trolleybuses in the books. 
In 1974, I have got a little motorized wheel employed in small electric cars for children, and it was possible to draw a compact body. It was then that the project definitively became reality. Two junctions were employed in the wiring layout. The trolleybus retrievers are very complex mechanisms. Thinking about them, I have made several studies on mechanisms to try recreating the same functions. In 1974, one of my suggestions to the trolleybus operator company CMTC was the development of a telescopic trolley pole in order to increase the autonomy from the overhead wiring. Other suggestions were concerned to the new curved segments and the electrically operated retrievers activated to the movable trolley heads. In 1975, I moved to a more adequate yard house, where it was possible to install a more sophisticated wiring. In this image, the switch operating mechanism can be seen, employing articulated levers. The wooden mechanical switch detail. Curved segment detail and the curved hangers configuration. In nineteen seventy nine, a one hundred and ten volts electric motor was installed. To construct the trolley retrievers compartment, domestic utensils were used. A simple internal retracting mechanism was projected. The trolley bases detail. Details of the carbon insert fixing can be seen. In 1981, the trolley car body was enlarged, employing a bigger directional frontal wheel. Intuitively, for an adequate operation, the studies were done to determine the best wiring location. We see here the wiring layout after the studies made and the wiring layout along the entire yard. Here we can see the electric switch with a current electric coil and the actuating mechanism. In the first plan we can see the mechanical switch and in the background the remote contactor in the opposite wiring. Interconnected curved hangers configuration. Later, an additional return was built, employing switches and a crossover. I became correspondent with foreigners, enthusiasts and companies as, for example, the Swiss overhead wiring manufacturer. In 1981, other experiments were made, employing flexible pendular hangers and curved segments. In 1979, I subscribed to the Trolleybus magazine and became correspondent to send the news about Brazil for the worldwide enthusiasts. 
the trolley car was exhibited at a technical fair in June 1983 at a college in Mogi das Cruzes. An oval shaped circuit was built. Presently, the trolley car is in exhibition in the Constantino Transport Museum in São Bernardo do Campo City. I started working at CMTC, the trolleybus operator company in São Paulo, in September 1979 as an overhead wiring designer. For example, the project of a new wiring layout introduced at Praça João Mendes in 1988. Also at Santa Teresa Stop in EMTU system. In 1999, I took part in the guided trolleybus project with the construction of the flexible overhead wiring. In 2000, at the Parque Dom Pedro II terminus. In 2010, the construction of the reminder 11 kilometers of double flexible wiring in EMTU system. And in 2014, the construction of the wiring in the EMTU light rail system from São Vicente to Santos in São Paulo State. In 2020, I continue working as a overhead wiring technician. <laughs>